Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Dominic, aka Dominic Cyber Genius, and I'm back. I'm back, better than ever. Sorry for the long haul. Sorry for the break. Let's get into this video right away on American Family Insurance and how they just confirmed that they suffered a cyber attack. So let's get into it. The article that I'm reading is going to be from Leaping Computer. And as we get started, you're going to see that cyber attacks aren't limited to just one sector, one type of company, one type of size. So no matter if your company is small, medium, big, no matter if you're a health organization, no matter if you're a startup, even insurance firms are going to get hacked. And as you see here, one of the insurance giants in the insurance game known as American Family Insurance did confirm that they suffered a cyber attack. And because of it, it caused outages all week, as well as they had to shut down portions of its IT systems. And these customers were able to report that the website had outages and people weren't able to do certain things. Just to give you guys a background, they're one of the biggest insurance companies or firms in the world, or I guess in the United States. And they focus more on commercial, personal property, auto, and kind of life insurance. All these insurances are important just in case if something were to happen to you, something were to happen to your vehicle, you can then have the money to replace it. Uh, as far as this, they did say Bleeping Computer did send out an email to them. And American Family Insurance got back to them saying that they confirmed they detected unusual activity on their network. And they had to shut off IT systems to prevent the spread of the attack. IT systems are very important. These are kind of the backbone of different applications and things of that nature. So if that stuff gets shut down, then a lot of information can one, be lost, and a lot of inf information can be made unavailable. So um, they did say that they hope to bring the systems back online as they continue to investigate the breach and determining if it's safe or not, but they're just waiting as of um, now. And since this past week, uh, or since this past weekend, actually, American Family Insurance has suffered the multiple outages and it's impacted the company's phone service, building connectivity and online services. And I'm pretty sure the phone services are one of the most important things because that's how these life insurance or these insurance brokers get clients. They got to be on the phone with them. They got to talk to them. They got to have meetings. So the phone services are down and that's taking money out of their pockets and hurting the company company's revenue as a whole. Weeb Computer also has said that they've been told multiple by multiple sources that internet connectivity was shut down by the insurance company after the attack, impacting other tenants of the same building as well. So maybe if you were working in that tenant or not tenant, maybe if you were working in that building, you had your power shut off or your internet shut off and that could cause um, issues for you as well. So this doesn't just affect the, this company as a whole, it affects other companies or other tenants within that building uh, indirectly. Customers have reported being able to unpay bills. That's another issue because if you're late on bills, that's, you know, that's going to be bad. You're going to, if you miss, uh, I don't know, I don't really know the whole kind of situation where if you miss a bill, they take away your insurance or something happens or you get charged extra. I don't, I don't know if it was like a fee, but when it comes to a bit, when it comes to anything that you have to pay or a bill, I know that it's pretty negative if you miss something or it's late. So I, I could just figure that there's probably a fee that they probably have to pay. Um, when they were trying to pay these bills or file claims, they were met with multiple error messages stating that the online site is down and to contact them via phone instead. Here is one of the error messages right here. They give out the number and said, hey, if you need to file a claim, do this. If you're unable to make a payment, you can do so when the system is back up and you will not be penalized. So at least at that part is something good that where you're not um, you're not penalized for something that was out of your control. So at least they're owning up to that and not penalizing you for missing a payment and things of that nature. Um, and to closing to the end of this attack, they did say that they don't know what type of attack they actually suffered, s suffered, but it does share similar um, tactics and techniques of ransomware attacks. Usually with ransomware, they try to cause outages, steal information, and then encrypt that information. So we haven't even heard anything yet. So we're just waiting on kind of what um, what's going to happen and, kind of, and what happened to the company as a whole. And many of these attacks do occur over the weekend. 
this is a big thing in cybersecurity. Threat actors are just like humans. They think like us. It's just that they do their thinking for the bad. In this case, a lot of threat actors cause or conduct their cyber attacks on the weekend or very late into the night, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., because they know that that's when there's less people um, working the systems. That's when the, there's less, I guess, network monitoring when it comes to the different people that are on staff. Typically on a weekend, it's not going to be so busy and there's not going to be a lot of people monitoring the staff. So they'll be able to get away with the attack a lot easier, be a lot easier. They wouldn't be too smart if they went to go attack this, this company or another company on a Wednesday when the whole staff is there and it's in the middle of the day and everybody can see it. When it's at night and it's on the weekend or it's on the holidays, not too many people are working and not too many people can monitor everything if there's only a certain amount of people in the building or working the network system or monitoring the network. And as parts of the attack, the doctors commonly spread throughout the network. They do steal the data and they do encrypt the devices. That's just another type of thing or things to look at when it comes to thinking about this and what attack it may have been. Most likely it was probably a ransomware attack. We'll probably find out in the next few days on what happened. And when the attack is completed, victims are left with ransom notes and warnings that the data will be leaked publicly if a ransom demand is not paid. We still have not found out if it is a ransomware attack. I probably believe it is if they already had to shut down their IT systems and what we and other stuff of that nature. Fortunately, these tactics do are not do, but they are very successful. And I just hope that the attack isn't as bad as they say it is. Because even with life insurance and auto insurance, there's a lot of personal identifiable information that can be used to steal identities such as names, addresses, phone numbers, social security numbers, emails, and different things that allow you to maybe even open up a, another account with this uh, insurance company or open up a bank account. So there's a lot of stuff that's at risk here when it comes to this cyber attack. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I had missed out on a lot. And I hadn't been posting. I just took in a break. I got burnt out. And also, I was just studying on a lot more stuff, studying for my set security plus as well as other things. But I'm back. I'm better than ever. And I'm coming with a vengeance. And I'm at least try to post once a week, every week. And we're just going to keep pushing and keep going from there. And I hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe to the video. And you already know what it is. I'm out. Peace.